What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm on my computer. Uh, and this is because I'm making a Gorilla Tag fan game tutorial. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game. It's actually very simple and easy. Uh, it's way easier than most people think. Um, so yeah, credits to Screen VR for making the original video. Um, but many people think this is complicated, but it's very easy. So I'm going to teach you how, step by step. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to your search bar and you want to search Unity Hub, okay? You will click, you need to click on this first link. It's unity.com slash Unity Hub. I'll also link everything that I use in the description. But we got Unity Hub right here. And you want to click Get Started with Unity. And then you'll download for Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on whatever. And then you have to go through the setup process and then just create an account. Okay, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to your Unity Hub now. Um, and you want to go to this Installs tab over here. And once you see this, you want to click Install Editor. And then you want... Don't use Unity 6, that's bad. But you want to come down here to other versions and you just want to install whatever the latest one is or whichever one you want. I currently use 2022.3.26 F1, but you can't get that anymore. So yeah, but just install whatever one this is so you can download this. And then you want to make sure you have Android build support open jdk and android sdk and ndk tools checked then you want to click continue and download it after you've done this come back to the projects tab and go over to new project uh make sure that the version you want is selected up here so i'm gonna go with this one and then once it loads you should be able to click 3d built-in render pipeline and then just name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name this G Tag Fan Game Touch. And then select what location you want it to be in your files. And then select the organization. I just created a random one, Chase 79. But you can do whatever. And then you don't need to worry about this, but you can you can check um, connect to Unity Cloud. That's fine. And then you just want to come down here and you want to click Create New Project, and it'll start loading. And I'm gonna cut to when it actually loads because it takes a while when you create a new one. But yeah, yeah, that was like 10 minutes of me waiting. For some reason, Unity took a while to load, but uh, it's open now. And once you're here, oh, I, I turn on gizmos. Uh, if you don't have gizmos turned on right here, uh, make sure this is blue. But you should be greeted with this like camera and light thingy, my bobber. Uh, delete both of those because they're actually not useful yet. And then you want to do Control S to save. So the first thing we're gonna do. Um, is set up VR support. So you want to come up here and you want to go to edit and then go all the way down here to project settings. And then right here it says XR plugin management. You want to click on that and then install XR plugin management. Uh, it should take a minute to load, but I'm just going to cut to when it loads. Oh yeah, also, if I go too fast for you on accident or... Uh, it's too hard to understand. You can like rewind it and pause it at certain moments to like copy or whatever. Um, just so you guys know that. Also, while I'm waiting for this to load, um, go ahead and join the Discord in my description below. Um, it's very inactive, but I'm active in it, so if you join, I will definitely say hi. And you have a chance to be in videos, you can give me video ideas, you have a chance to just play with me in general. Um, any scripts I use, there won't be any scripts in this tutorial, but any scripts I use will be in that Discord server. So, make sure to join. 
by the way, this um, series where I'm going to teach you how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game, there will be way more parts than just this one. This is the basic setup. Um, if you would like me to teach you mo more stuff, go ahead, leave a comment, and leave a like if you find this tutorial helpful. Um, also, consider subscribing. Uh, I'm trying to get to 1k subs, so if you could, that'd be nice. Okay, now that it's loaded, you want to come to XR Plugin Management. And it says right here, all these you can click on. Now, you would think that you would want to click on Oculus, but you actually want to click on Open XR. And make sure you're on the monitor. But you want to click on Open XR. Um, and this also takes a while to load, so I'm actually going to cut to when it loads this time. Uh, once OpenXR finishes loading, you'll get this warning, um, and you want to click on restart the editor. Uh, you want to click yes. Uh, this just basically helps OpenXR load without breaking literally everything. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to cut... Oh yeah, this will close Unity, um, but it will reopen itself, so just sit tight. Yeah, there. Eh. And then it reopens. Um, now I'm gonna wait until this opens. Okay, and now once it loads, it keeps putting me on project validation, but you wanna go to open XR. No, you wanna go to XR plugin management and check OpenXR, and it should work now. Then, you want to click on this little warning sign right here, and you want to click, over here you want to click Fix All. And then, it should say Compiling, com compiling Scripts down here in the bottom. Just wait for that to load. Um, but once it does, these errors should disappear. And if these errors aren't here, then it's fine. Just like, skip this step. But, yeah, cut. Okay, once that loads, um, then you'll see this error is still here. You just want to click edit. And then up here where it says single pass, you want to change it to multi pass. And down here where it says enabled interaction profiles, you want to plus, and you want to click Oculus touch controller profile. And you want to also add the Valve Index controller profile. That doesn't mean people with these, like, like, don't add MetaQuest Touch. That doesn't mean people with MetaQuest Touch Pro controllers can't play. Um, it's just that these ones make the game accessible for VR and stuff, and these ones are just bad. So don't use them. Uh, and then up here, you want to go to the Android tab, this little robot guy. And you want to change single pass to multi pass. After that, you want to come to XR Plugin Management again. And make sure you're on the Android tab this time, not the, not the monitor. On the Android tab. And you want to select Oculus. And then this will just load fine. You won't have any errors or anything. It'll just like install and then be done. Um, and once it finishes installing, you want to come down... Oh, it's still loading. Okay, now that it's finished loading, you want to come down here and click on Oculus this time. Then you go to the Monitor tab, change Single Pass to Multi Pass. Go back to the Android tab and change Multi View to Multi Pass. Then you want to check Low Overhead Mold, Low Overhead Mode, and then keep this the same. Um, it doesn't... You don't want to check Quest Pro or Quest 3, because you'll still be able to play on those. Then you want to go back to OpenXR, go to Android, click the plus right here, and then add the Oculus Touch Controller Profile. After this, you can close out of Project Manager, and go to File and Save, or just click Control S. Now you want to come to Window, Package Manager, and then up here you want to click this plus button and you want to do add pro package from get url and then you're going to want to type com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit 
And once you've typed out this, I'm gonna leave it for a few seconds so you can copy it. Once you've typed out this, you want to click add and it will start installing a package. Okay. Once you've done that, if you scroll to the bottom, you will see somewhere down here, you'll see XR Interaction Toolkit. It should automatically bring you to it. I don't know why it didn't bring me, but I don't know. Uh, you want to come over here to samples and then you want to import you want to go to starter assets and you want to click import. Don't import anything else, just starter assets. Okay, once this works, you want to close out of package manager and it should automatically bring you here. But uh, if you're still in the assets folder, you want to click on the folder that says samples. Here, I'll show you in a second. Oh, if you get some errors right here, it should open your project settings uh, if you get errors but if you do just click fix all and it'll automatically fix um and then if it doesn't bring you here already you'll be in the assets folder but you want to click on samples xr interaction toolkit or whatever version this is mine is 3.1.2 but i don't know what version it will be for you then you click starter and then you want to get, find prefabs no presets once you find presets you just want to go to every single one and you want to click add to whatever it says uh, they're all different so you just go to each individual one and you come up here and you click that button um, it shouldn't take too long it only takes like a few seconds and then once you do this you want to come t back Oh, you want to go to edit project settings, come back to here, and then go to preset manager, and right here where it says controller input action manager, you want to type right with the capital R on this one, and left with the capital L on this one. Make sure you spell it correctly. Um, and then you want to close out of this. Once that's all done, you want to come to the second link in the description, I think. And then you want to click on Gorilla Locomotion.Unity Package, right here. And by the way, this is the one that Gorilla Tag uses. See, another axiom. Those are the people that made Gorilla Tag. But you want to click on View Raw, and it will download the um, thingy. Now, once that's all done, you want. Or now, once it's all downloaded, you want to come to. You want to right click, click import package, custom package, and then you want to find the Gorilla Locomotion that you just downloaded and click open. Once it's loaded, you want to click all and then click import. And it should import the locomotion script. Um, and if it says this, you just click reload. Um, it won't do anything, but it'll just like, and it may add the main camera and directional light back. Just delete those again. And then control S to save. And now you want to go to resources, gorilla locomotion, or I mean gorilla prefabs, and then grab the gorilla locomotion or gorilla rig and drag it right here. And it should automatically spawn this little dude right here. Uh, so you can go ahead and set the position to zero, zero, zero. And yeah, now our little guy is here. Um, if you have gizmos turned on, you can see the camera is his head. So he's currently looking in that direction. And then you can see his head, his body, and his two arms right here. Um, and this will actually be all for today's video. I know it's pretty short for you guys. It's been, what, an hour for me? Yeah, 50 minutes. Um, but go ahead and save your project. And then, um, that's all for today's video. I will...
make more tutorials if you guys like and subscribe. And maybe leave a comment on what tutorial you want to see next. I'll probably make, like, how to add a map with, like, textures and, um, and a, what do you call it? Oh, and lighting. Um, so I'll teach you guys that when we get there, but I don't know. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs>